if you put the, the front punch hole in an air tag here, it'll be a little tight. Okay, here we are. We have right here. This is the Wheel of Craft Goods. This is the new knock wallet. We have both the original and the wide. So let's open it up. And you know, we, we talk about what we get here. We have packaging that comes uh, in a way that takes time and it's done by hand, including the knot that's put in here. Look at this little clip right here that includes this card that shows you what it is, the main color of the leather, the secondary, as well as the sewing thread. And so uh, a lot a lot goes into this and it is handmade. So let's get this one. This looks, it is a wide and we will grab this one, open it up and ta-da. Okay, let's take one out of these OPP bags. And you can see immediately that we've got the wide, which is this one right here, and the original. I like the fact that uh, we have the two versions that he's willing to sell. One for currencies that are wider currencies, and also the ability to fold currency once. And the original, which is a little smaller. So let's take a look here quickly at the sewing, which we always like to do. I like that over sew right there on the edge. Same thing down here. We'll talk about this. And, ooh. You can see how this functions right here. Got a nice card. Okay, let's jump into this new offering. These are both functionally the same. So I will move this aside and we'll look at the original. Two external card slots. We have one that's right here in the front and we notice that that is a hole into it and then another one on the back. These are external quick access card slots. Capacity one to two cards each and this, this thumb push also acts as an air tag slot. So if you like an air tag, you kind of get a two for one here. Great thumb push and also for an air tag. And on the back, we see this design that comes down that helps as part of grabbing cards. If we go to the internal, which is this right here, uh, I've kind of noticed you can just go click with your fingers and thumb and it opens it up. And right here is where we have the main internal card slot. Snap at the top for security. There are other options, which I'll show you in a second and a capacity of six to eight cards and cash folded twice on this one. But right here, we get cash that is folded, can be folded once. And we'll show you what that looks like. So from here, we come back to the interior. This isn't just sitting here to keep it snapped and in place. We have a pull strap so that you can get access to your cards down here. And I'll shove that back down. We can get this in place, snap it, and there we go. Measurements are three by 4.25 by 0.7, and it's 3.4 for the wide version. And it has a weight of 2.1 ounces or 60 grams. Now the larger wide one is 2.3 or 65 grams. Now let's get into the card and cash insertion test. So you notice I got nine in here. Uh, capacity is 12 cards is, is what is mentioned. And it handled this really well. Uh, the wide, obviously you saw what I did here because it allows us to put cash folded just once. And that includes these very tall currencies, uh, the yen as well as the 50 euro and the hundred is the same way. So we'll set this aside right here. Uh, the, the point is that, well, I think I got nine cards in here and accessing it, just snap, you know, pull this apart, pull this out. And now you have access to your cards. You can get your cash in there just fine too. Let's get this out. Let's get the cash out right here and set this aside. So we're gonna get into, I'm gonna pull this out right here as well as these two here. Yeah, we'll just kind of reset this a bit. Uh, this is designed and made in the United States. It is made from full grain veg tanned leather. He uses different tanneries depending on the colors you want and the feel and the outcomes he's looking for in the wallet. His tanneries include Italian producers, MPG, Industrial Cons Consoria, Consoria La Perla, Asura, and Consiglio Wapier. Okay, they're all pretty good. Colors are very rich. Combinations are possible with between all the different colors. That's why you specify a primary and a secondary. And it really makes it interesting. I really like this particular design and color here. I have this in their swaddle wallet and I really like it. You can make a custom order to choose, of course, the primary and secondary, or they have ready-made wallets there for you as well. As you can see in the photo right here, there are different options to the top of the knock wallet. And what it provides us is the ability to put a grommet in there. You have several options. And we're seeing Hunter move into several different options in the same model of, the, of wallet, uh, depending on what you like. Now, if we look closely, we can see that we have 
two pieces of leather, really. I mean, that's that's really all there is. The separation of the leather makes this a little bit easier. So we have this one piece here that comes over here, comes around here, but also comes up on the interior. And the thing that makes this really cool is it all comes, it's all uh, in concert with each other. And so we see that behind it, we have the second piece wraps around here. This is where we have the connection point. And then this leather right here, the strap itself is something that is connected at the bottom of this first piece. And so it is all just two pieces completely put together and connected via these rivets. I think that is just really cool. As of this recording, the price of the original is $87, and the price of the wide version is $100. That's an introductory price. The original, I think, goes up to $100, and the wide version up to $115. So now, it takes additional work to create multiple versions of the same wallet. And Hunter, who's the owner, we've talked about him in the past, goes the extra effort to make sure that we have the wide option. And the wide version here is what gives us the ability to carry cash folded once and to accommodate international currencies, which I really like. Now, from a usability perspective, if you put the, the front punch hole in an air tag here, it'll be a little tight. So let's grab an air tag. There we go. We will put this in and it goes, so the front comes out right here. That's that little slot and it works great. Now you can see that, uh, I mean, that's a nice addition. I love the two for one you kind of get here. The situation is though, if you put a card in here, now you're dealing with the depth of the air tag and that gives it, uh, makes it a quite a bit tighter when you want to pull cards in and out. Now, of course, being leather, it will loosen up a bit, uh, but I just think it's clever how he, yeah, I got a two for one here as a thumb push as well as an air tag. I uh, really like that. One thing to point out in the back is that it is a little wider, so you can get more than a few cards in here. I think I've got, what, uh, four here. Let's see what we can do. And it handles four just fine. Of course, it is all in relation to what you put in the main slot right here. The only uh, downside is that the cards that are on the top and the bottom, they do have the opportunity to rub because we do have the rivets, the back of the rivets here. And you'll see there that uh, you will have some rubbing. Actually, it's only going to be in the on the top ones. But that again is a friction point and something to watch out for. Hunter continues to innovate with new designs in his unique style, which I really appreciate. He continues to stretch uh, his product line and come up with new cool things. So now onto the final score. For quality of five, price a three. Uh, that might go to a two if it goes back up to its original price. A little bit steep with that. Features a four, usability a three. Uh, usability is is pretty good. Uh, there's just a couple things in there regarding the, the rivets uh, and also other items. Perception of five. And that gives us a final score of four out of five.